then to get into detailed design, where we talk about size and scale, color, texture, what's the emotion, what's the feeling. And in this space, we actually like refine the shape and the size of the fixture. Arendelle, probably some of our favorite, maybe we're a little biased. Uh, but we really love these daytime and nighttime shots to show you exactly how the emotion of the film comes to life the minute the sun goes down. I mean, we're lighting the sun, we're a little biased.
great pleasure of working with both of you and you are both incredible collaborators at the top of your field. What kind of advice could you share with everybody who are kind of looking to work in a creative space the way that you guys are? So I started volunteering for theater in high school and I learned by the time I was about 16 that I really wanted to do lighting design. And what I did is I really just did lighting design as much as I could. I volunteered, I spent as much time as I could learning everything I could about lighting design and really um, being a subject matter expert is what ended up helping me get to the job that I have now. That's what we do at Imagineering, we're subject matter experts. Um, my favorite, and I would emphasize this for anyone who wants to become an Imagineer, is collaboration, collaboration, collaboration. Um, we can't do it alone. We've been seeing all these phenomenal presentations from our partners and team members all day. Uh, and that's the magic of what we do is we're a team. So the more communication, the more collaboration we can have, the better, um, I'm sure just outside this frame is like 30 other people laughing with us in the space. Um, but it's part of what brings all these beautiful spaces to life for you. So, I hope you love Famous Springs. It's so beautiful. <laughs> so please um, give a round of applause to Sarah and Lee. Thank you so much. Come back to the center.